of mine wanted to do some, um, animate some of my uh, sculptures, you know, to make like a Super 8 movie. And um, so I came up with this title, Ten Planet, you know, and I'd nailed it all onto a board like that. And um, needless to say, the film never got made, but it ended up being the title of the space album, yeah. which I was thrilled about, you know. I had to make this and uh, photograph it in a day, but they wanted it to make it like a kit form, you know, um, so it was like an, one of those um, homemade airfix yeah, kits or things, something. Yeah. So I couldn't assemble all the parts until the, they'd, they'd all been photographed separately, you know, and the photographer was coming up from London and um, so we, he took all the components, uh, photographed them and then I assembled them and then we photographed the finished um, object like. And, He's got some slightly moving parts, like you can look around and give people the evil eye and stuff if you want. To. His arms move like this, and the um, the animated him didn't we for yeah. a uh, TV? He's got a little uh, light in his head somewhere there. Yeah, a little light, <laughs> which flashes on, and his eyes are red, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> this is sculpture you can cook with. Yeah. Right, cool. <laughs> we want someone from Liverpool to do it. We want. A local lad, someone I've known for ages, you know, is, is dead talented in whatever he does, music or art. And I just wanted to, uh, instead of giving it to London, and we're trying to, like, I'm trying to get Mike to do the new album cover and uh, stuff like that, so, yeah, well, I'm going to demand it. I think it does, it does help, you know, because I think if you've got a similar kind of past experience, you know, like, you know, being in, involved in music in Liverpool and everything, which is, like, absolutely hard as nails, at times, you've, um, I think you're off to the right note for a, for a start, you know, because you've got a similar kind of wavelength um, that you work on. I mean, basically all this, I got into working with this because um, the source material was like available. It's just stuff which you find in car boot sales or in junk shops and everything and stuff that you can actually afford to make stuff out of. So it's got a very much kind of homemade, um, vibe about it um, and I think with it also with, with you being called space as well it had like a yeah. another kind of little sci-fi angle well, hasn't it? Because we'd always thought to try to stay away from that because it's a bit corny but... So you took the ball by the yeah. arms <laughs> <laughs> just went, went yeah, for it. for corny anyway so we might as well like... <laughs>